Good morning and welcome to our mission message and welcome new friends to Optic Missions Church and welcome all friends to this message. Uh, this morning perhaps more serious than other messages. Why? I tell you why. Um, I've been a little bit sad and disturbed lately with this pandemic starting to hit so close to home, so close to home that it's uncomfortable. And I don't think a lot of people are ready yet to die. Um, it hasn't happened in our camp, but the pandemic is a life-threatening disease. Now, here's the thing. My message is today about the battle belongs to the Lord. The battle belongs to the Lord. Perhaps go and read the whole of uh, Second Chronicles chapter 20. I'm going to tell you the abbreviation of the story just now, but let me ask you outright. We can belong to the right army. And then we are protected by the general Jesus Christ. But my friend, you have to choose today to which army do you belong? Do you belong to the army of Father God with the general Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit to help and your guide? To which army do you belong? You see, we've, uh, you, uh, we've been sitting on the fence for too long. You have perhaps sitting on the fence too long. The time for sitting on the fence is over. This is no, no game. This is a serious battle for souls. This thing comes from the enemy. And I tell you what, this is a war. This is a battle for souls. And let me just quickly remind you of the story then. Second Chronicles chapter 20. So then the armies of the north were preparing to attack the Judah and uh, the, the king Jehoshaphat was very, very concerned. But he was a man of God. He was a godly king. And then his priest and prophet Jehaziel, he then uh, said to the king, don't worry, this battle belongs to the Lord. And that is the message today. If you are in the right camp, the camp of Jesus Christ, our uh, uh, general, the battle belongs to Jesus and Jesus alone. We will get into Ephesians 6, the armor of God, later and just touch on, on the armor a little bit. But then quickly, let me remind you then, so they were gearing up for war uh, and the armies were attacking them from the north. And then prophet and priest tells the king, don't worry, the battle belongs to the Lord. And then with confidence, they go into a kind of uh, a defense. And uh, what happened is there was confusion and uh, the Lord God, the angel, then set up uh, ambushes for the enemy. And without um, Judah taking up any weapon, then those enemies walked into ambush and they start fighting one another. And then the armies start killing one another, the enemy. So a fight breaks out amongst the enemy armies themselves and they destroy one another. They destroy one another without Jehoshaphat's army, the army of Judah, having to lift a finger. Wow. So the battle belonged to the Lord, rightly as Jehaziel said. And then the victory belonged to Judah without one person dying and all of the enemy was wiped out. You see, Jehaziel's uh, name in Hebrew has got a very important meaning. It says, behold, Jehovah God looks on Jehaziel's name. It means Jehovah God looks on Jehovah God sees. Behold, Jehovah God sees. Now, here's the thing. God knows. God is quite aware what's going on with this pandemic over the world. He is quite aware. God sees. That is the hope. God sees what's going on. And God knows his children. And if you, in the camp of Jesus Christ, our general, I tell you, you are safe. And the army of God will come out victorious. Hallelujah. The army of God will come out 
victorious with all our lives to spare. That is what I have to believe the highest spiritual idea, ideal of protection. Now, out of the New Testament, Paul then also gives us a weaponry, the armor of God, Ephesians 6 verses 10. Ephesians, Ephesians 6 verses 10. I'm reading from the Amplified Bible. Um, I'm reading from 13 onwards. Uh, Ephesians 6 verses 13. Therefore, put on the complete armor of God so that you will be able to successfully resist and stand your ground in the evil day of danger. And having done everything that the crisis demands, to stand firm in your place, fully prepared, immovable, victorious. So stand firm and hold your ground, having tightened the wide, wide band of truth, personal integrity, moral courage around your waist, and having put on the breastplate of righteousness, an upright heart, and having strapped on your feet the gospel of peace in preparation to face the enemy with firm-footed stability and the readiness pr produced by the good news. Above all, lift up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows from the evil one. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Let me stop there. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Now take on the helmet of salvation. That verse means that the, we must put our trust in God. We must put our trust in the Lord of the battle. The battle belongs to the Lord. The Lord of the battle is Jesus Christ. And with God seeing this uh, uh, dreadful pandemic that's going on, God is still in control. God is still in control of this battle, this war. God is in control. Jesus Christ is our general. This word literally means uh, he is our protector. The helmet of salvation Jesus is our protector against the evil one. And there's a spiritual fight going on. And God is commissioning angels to fight on our behalf. We don't have to lift a finger, but being cautious. And obviously we're not going to flirt with the enemy. We're going to be responsible and adhere to the, the, the safety and protection rules and regulations of the country. And then personal hygiene, etc. And with the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God, the Logos. So the Logos, the Word, must encourage us in our faith, the faith of truth, grace and love. We're not going to get out there and start saying irresponsible, damning things. Rather, we're going to witness to the world the peace that we have in God. The peace we have in Jesus. The peace we have in the Holy Spirit. In Jehovah Shalom. And that peace and insurance, assurance of our salvation and eternal life. And now our lives that's protected by Jesus Christ, the Lord of the battles. That will definitely rub off on the world. And then lastly, Paul writes in verse 18, With all prayer and petition, pray at all times in the Spirit and stay alert. Now, Paul, for, he on purpose left prayer as the last weapon. And we sometimes don't see prayer as a weapon. But I tell you, prayer is the most important uh, weapon in the spiritual warfare that's going on. And we have to pray all the time in the Spirit. We have to pray and plead the blood of Jesus over ourselves, our families, our Christian friends, and Optic Missions Church. So that when this uh, pandemic has passed, it will be a witness to the world that all were saved and protected. All that belongs to the body of Christ. And that alone can be through the blood of Jesus and His providence and grace. So my friend, today is your day to choose the camp and the army of Jesus Christ, the general Jesus Christ. That is the only guarantee. Goodbye.